everybody. I am uh, here at the rental house that we have in a um, uh, neighboring town. We'll leave it there. <laughs> um, and I'm getting ready to walk through and take a look and see what uh, we need to do. And we're planning a little bit of a renovation over here. So let's take a look at what it is before. Here it is. This is our cute little cottage. Um, it's a little bigger than a cottage, but it's uh, a cute little house. Got some good landscaping. Um, I lived here once before, and it was such a nice little house. We've done a lot of work to it, and it's been a rental, but we want to turn it into our home. So let's take a look inside. So we've got the foyer. It's just a small little foyer. It's a four corners house. You have a hallway that goes down the middle, kitchen to the right, living room to the left, and let's see what's down here. Laundry area, bathroom straight ahead, bedroom, bedroom. So this bedroom over here I'm going to turn into Truly Remarkable Life Headquarters. So we'll give you a preview of what it's going to look like, of what it looks like now. Got a closet, door, not very big, but big enough. So this is going to be our den slash Truly Remarkable Life offices. Look over here. And we have a nice bedroom, so this will be the sleeping quarters. And this bathroom is going. This is our old bathroom in this house. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not great. And as you can see, you know, it's old. It's got the old shower install, a giant old um, tub. And we're going to have all that ripped out, put some new modern stuff in. Um, not over improved, but make it nice and stable. Um, the house is old, so there needs to be some work underneath the tub. Um, so we're going to have somebody come in and do some shoring up of that. Put in a new floor, put in a new tub, put in a new vanity, um, put in a new toilet, unfortunately, because my leasing agent decided to replace my toilet with a smaller one while it was leased, and I didn't know that. So I'm asking them to help me with that, but if they don't, I have to replace it because it's a tiny little toilet and it's very uncomfortable. We won't go into that. So lots of work here. Uh, let's take a look at the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. You can see it's got old cabinets. These kitchen countertops are what my parents had in the house when I was born in their house. It's that old gold fleck. Very ugly. So all these cabinets are going out. I'm going to repurpose them for the offices. Um, I'll show you that process maybe. And we're going to get rid of this weird appliance um, detention center over here where the, re the refrigerator is like it's off on its own little world. Um, we're going to redesign this kitchen. So we'll show you the plans for that too coming up. Um, I wanted to... Just give you a preview and let you know what we're doing um, over the next couple of months. We're going to be working on this. And so truly remarkable life might turn into truly remarkable home. But that's all part of building a truly remarkable life is creating the right space for you. And for us, that means a little smaller. It means moving locations. Um, it means doing a lot of the work ourselves. Um, we're going to sink a little bit of money into this house, probably more than it's worth, but in the long run, we'll have a very solid house and it'll be a great investment for the future because if we do decide to move or need to move, it's immediately can be flipped into a rental again. So we're hoping that that pans out for us. We've got some work in the back. We're going to be taking trees out, putting in some patio blocks, that kind of stuff. So. All of these projects I hope to share with you as I go and um, let you be a part of the process.
How exciting is this? And how much work is this going to be? Oh my gosh. Hey, so we're here. This is moments after the cabinets were finished. Um, you can see my paint samples on the wall, none of which we're going to use because we don't like them. Um, but you can see all of the cabinets here. It is like cardboard palooza. So we're getting excited about the kitchen. Um, we'll take you in here with us and you can take a look. So you can see the before is a before. <laughs> so here we go. Give us your soul. About two weeks into this renovation, um, it's been going on a little bit longer. Planning's been going on a little bit longer, but the renovation itself, two weeks, three weeks. Um, and we just keep having things happen and more money starts piling on. It, it's total money pit situation. And, you know, I told KJ the other day, I feel like Tom Hanks when he was in that movie, The Money Pit from the 80s, for those of you who remember, um, where he fell through the floor and he's stuck and he can't get out. I said, I kind of feel like that right now. Um, and that's one of the things you don't see. Now, I just want to share something with you. There's a, a cardinal just landed on the tree limb, right? There, there's a little cardinal. That's a good sign. Everybody says that's a visitor, so um, I don't know whether I believe that or not, but right now I need to. Um... But this is the side of home renovations people don't talk about. You know, it's hard um, because you see your house entirely destroyed. Um, you know, it gets worse before it gets better. And it's not always pretty. Um, but the other thing is you can't plan for things that you don't know are happening. So as you can see, I've got, I mean, this whole house is a nightmare. <laughs> Kitchen is completely ripped apart um, and we're at a standstill because they found something that we need to fix so um, that has to be fixed before we can move forward with anything else so uh, and we're doing some optional work like um, there's some unlevel floors in this house and we're we're doing some uh, I won't say jacking the house up but we're doing some leveling um, just to make things not so fun house-ish um, and then, of course, the bathroom and, of course, the kitchen. So we have electrical that needs to be done as well. So we're trying to find an electrical contractor that doesn't charge an arm and a leg and figure out how we can minimize some of that impact. Um, so expensive. It's going to be worth it, and we're going to recoup the money. Um, but it's a much bigger job than what we anticipated. We're talking like five times the money we hoped <laughs> in the very, very, very beginning. Um, but the good news is, switch hands here, sorry my hand's getting tired. The good news is, is that we are getting, the, we're getting some problems that we, that would have been major, major issues in the future, remedied. So, you know, before they got too bad. So we're getting that done. Um, I keep thinking positive and keep reminding myself that even with spending the money that we're spending, um, we're going to be coming out ahead in the long run. So we're going to have a beautiful home. We're going to have one that's right, the right size for us. And it's going to put us on the path for what we want in our lives. And that's the important thing. You know, they say you, what you tell other people is what you need to hear yourself. So 
that's never been a truer statement than right now. So everything I'm saying is something I need to hear because it's very frustrating. Had a really bad day yesterday when I got the electrical bid, and today's not any better. So, uh, but we're we're getting there. It's it's going to come together, and we're going to find ways around it. We did a budget last night, and everything seems to be manageable. It just looks ugly. Things just look ugly before they look better. Remember that. Oh.